So if you are interested in purchasing from me the Swedish Erotica Collection 2, I have an extra copy that I accidentally bought. Message me. Thank you. Next up, some Marquet de Sade films. Um, Marquet uh, de Sade's Philosophy in the Rodin. Uh, it's Eugene, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not completely sure. Uh, the story of her journey into perversion. Good times. It, it stars uh, those people down there, including the woman. Oh, I don't know if that's going to get me uh, cover boobies up, but that woman right there is, is looking pretty hot. I found this just through uh, looking at the Swedish Erotica collection, so I decided to go ahead and get it. But um, special features are perversion stories, interviews with the director Jess Franco, uh, Christopher Lee, and the star woman here, um, Marie, don't know how to pronounce her other name, I think it's probably Swedish. But it also has the um, poster and still gallery, a theatrical trailer, um, and liner notes. Very cool. Um, what's it about? It's erotic classic from the director of Vampire Vampiros Lesbos. La la la. Completely uncut. Blah blah blah. Okay, an innocent young woman taken to an island paradise where she where she is initiated into a world of pleasure and pain, controlled by the sinister. Uh, Dormance, but when she surrenders to her own forbidden fantasies, Eugene becomes trapped in a frenzy of drugs, sadomasochism, and murder. Can a frightened young, uh, can a frightened girl in the grip of carnal, of carnal perversion find sanctuary in the orgies of the depraved? I hope so. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, Eugene. I think that's how you pronounce it. Or Eugene? I don't know. Well, I just picked that up. Oh, what's up, guys? For the next installment of this DVD update, I'm going to show you something. It's a box. It's a box full of DVDs. Why am I holding a box full of DVDs, you might ask? Because I am. Why am I out of breath? I just carried this box down two flights of stairs at a fast pace. So, you might ask, why the hell is an Atari logo on this box? That I cannot tell you. What I can tell you is every movie in here has been bought for $2. Two dollars? Yeah, two dollars. Is that one dollar less than you would buy it at Big Lots? Yes, it is. You are awesome at math. High five, gold star for you. So, um, without further ado, let's check out the movies I got for two dollars. I'm just going to run through this shit, so be ready for a whirlwind of two dollar movie goodness. Hey, you ready for the two dollar movies? I'm going to go through these real quick because it's way too, if I spent, this update will be like 800 parts. Not going to happen. Gremlins Special Edition. This is a special edition. It's still a snapper case, but it's still, check it out. Comes with a decent amount of special features right there. So, good stuff. Steven Spielberg film. If you haven't seen Gremlins, you fucking need to. What's wrong with you? Um, over 10 minutes of never before seen footage, behind the scenes documentary, full length commentaries with the director Joe Dante, Phoebe Cates, Zach Galligan, Dick Miller, and Hal's, Howie Mandel. Uh, commentary 2 is with director Joe Dante, producer Michael Pinnell and special effects artist Chris Wales. Wallace, I'm sorry. Photo storyboard gallery, cast and crew film highlights, all new 2001 digital transfer, soundtrack remastered and presented in both did, uh, Dolby Digital 5.1 and Dolby Surround Sound 2.0, theatrical trailers and subtitles. Good stuff, still on a snapper case though. Can't have Gremlins 1 without Gremlins 2, can you? This is Gremlins 2, the new batch. This one I didn't like as much as the first one, but it was still okay. Um, it was great when they were in the movie. Um, but wow, check it out. This has, even still being a snapper, old snapper case style, it has a list of special features as well. Over 20 minutes of never-before-seen footage, behind-the-scenes documentary, feature-length feature commentary with director Joe Dante and producer Michael Fennell. It has a gag reel, cast and crew film highlights, the optical trailer, all-new 2001 digital transfer from the soundtrack, remastered, same thing as the first one. So yeah, Gremlins 2. Two dollars, can't go wrong with those. I hadn't owned those before. So yeah. Next movie up, Storytelling. Uh, this is the unrated and the R-rated versions for $2. Nice. Um, I'm sorry. All these are going to be from $2 until I say stop, so I'm not going to say $2 every time. But Storytelling, I want to see this. Um, I've seen select scenes. I think we all know what scene I'm talking about. And if you don't, it's Selma Blair scene with a black guy. Seen it already because 
It's a good scene. Um, very cool. So unrated and R-rated versions. Storytelling. <clears throat> the delicate art of parking. It's supposed to be uh, a comedy about a parking. Uh, it's like it's got a bunch of unknowns in it, but it's supposed to be actually pretty funny. It's called The Delicate Art of Parking. It's got a bunch of special features. Um, so it's about a documentary filmmaker, but I don't think it's a documentary. I think it's a movie about a documentary filmmaker. So it's called The Delicate Art of Parking. I'll let you know when I see it. Tom, a.k.a. Cook Me a Beer, uh, will like this one because he recently got it. And I love this movie as well. I just hadn't had it before. And it's Death to Smoochie, a movie with Edward um, Norton, Danny DeVito, and Robin Williams. One of my favorite Robin Williams movies. This is the widescreen edition for two bucks. There I go saying it's two bucks, but um, it's got a bunch of uh, bloopers, outtakes, ten additional scenes, a cavalcade of special features. But if you guys have never checked this movie out, definitely check it out. It's about two rival um, kids TV show uh, people. So, very funny movie, very good movie, check it out. Widescreen edition of the whole ten yards in a snapper case. Very, just a commentary for the special features, but it's actually a decent uh, sequel. So, but I haven't watched it in, in a long time. But they went bullshit with it, didn't they? Didn't, didn't they do PG-13 on this one? I think they did. So, yeah. <clears throat> no Amanda Pete titties in that one. Uh, next up movie I got is called Comic Book Villains. Um, I watched a little snippet uh, here and there of this movie. It seemed funny. But I wanted to see it in its um, entirety. So, I got it. It's got DJ Qualls in it. Some other uh, people you would know by face. Uh, not that many special features. It is in widescreen, though. It's about these two comic rival comic book um, store owners who find this out this old lady has a ton of rare and expensive um, comics, and they battle battle it trying to uh, steal or buy um, the comic books uh, off this lady who is just stubborn and won't sell them. So should be good. Next one up, Igby Goes Down with uh, Cully Culkin's brother, Kieran Culkley. Culkin? Culkley. I think Kieran is how you say it. But uh, when this first came out, I rented it, and I actually really did enjoy this movie. Um, it has Claire Danes in it, Jeff Goldblum, Bloom, Amanda Peet, Ryan Philippi, Philippi, oh, God damn it, Philippi, B uh, Bill Pullman, and Susan Sarandon in it. Uh, I really enjoy this movie. You guys should uh, check it out uh, from what I remember. Not to mention uh, lucky uh, Kieran Culkin gets a sex scene with Amanda Peet. Nice. Uh, next, the next four are going to be awesome. Well, not so much the fourth one, but I got House Party. Uh, Ballista Gay 2 just did a video where he had House Party, I think, and he was talking about how he had that, um, that, uh, haircut, the tall fade, so, or tried to pull it off at least. So, here's House Party 1, which I like. I rented this back in the day, and I liked it. Good times. So, no special features, whatever. If you, in case you hadn't guessed, it's about a house party. It has kids, Kid and Play and Robin Harris in it. As you could understand, you would have to get House Party 2. Everyone knows I'm completist. So, The Pajama Jam. Haven't seen this one yet. Uh, has the same stars in it, so I'll give it a look-see. It's House Party 2, about a house party, in case you didn't know. Kids on Play, turn return for House Party 3. The Bachelor's Party is going to bring down the house. So, once again, no special features, basically. Uh, same cast, I believe, so... Looks like Bernie Mac might be in this one too from looking at the front. But I um, haven't seen it, so $2, that's good. House Party 4, everyone says this one sucks because uh, none of the original cast came back. Uh, they did a whole new thing, so down to the last minute. This one's starring IMX. So once again, no special features, but I'll give it a look-see. I've only ever seen the first one out of that. Next one up is a Blue Underground Circus of Fear, $2. This one has... Uh, Klaus Kinski and Christopher Lee in it. Uh, special features are just a poster and still gallery and an audio commentary with John Moxie and the theatrical trailer. Check out the trailer for this. It actually looked pretty cool. Um, it's not rated. It came out in 1966. And that's great. $2 for a Blue Underground movie. I'm there. I don't care what, what it is. Uh, <clears throat> Next up, 2 bucks. Awesome. Uh, Demon Seed. I've been wanting to check this one out for quite some time. Um, no special features at all. Oh, the theatrical trailer. But I don't know much about this movie, but I remember seeing the trailer a little while back and saying, and remembering, remember, telling myself, basically, that I wanted to see it. So, it stars Julie Christie, and it says she carries the demon seed. Um, good stuff. 